All right, so we're with Mike Sutton from Canada. He's our Canadian distributor. He's been distributing French Drain Man products since 2019. Mike, why don't you tell them what area of Canada you're in? Thanks for inviting me, Bob. Um, I'm in the greater Toronto area. We service all of Canada. We ship pallet shipments all over Canada. We do a lot of uh, pickups. A lot of people in the Toronto, Mississauga, like the area is very densely populated. So we get a lot of people from Niagara, from the West, East, North. Uh, they come in droves to pick up. Uh, we do a lot of pickups, normal business hours, and we do a lot of pickups after normal business hours. We just like to coordinate uh, with our customers to pick up because we want them to get the products. I mean, we, you know, I, like, like you said, I've been with you, working with you for just the better part, almost five years now. And the reason I jumped on board was just, wow. When we started, I was just amazed that first with the high octane and then it kind of went from there. So you had a yard water problem and you were trying to solve your yard water problem. So you had been watching our videos. You became, you know, very interested in the product and in the DIY information that the channel, you know, brought. And then I did a video stating that we had a lot of people in Canada that really needed the French Drain Man products, but we needed a distributor. And you answered that video. French Drain Man videos was uh, my evening entertainment for a good 30 days. And because <laughs> I wanted to solve my problem and I wanted to make sure I was going to do it right. And everybody else that I found on YouTube, I was just, you know, you start watching and then you're kind of like, eh, okay. And then my instincts kicked in when I found you just because of the way that you explain things. And I didn't feel like I was being sold a bill of goods. It was more, Hey, are you a DIYer and you want to do it the right way? These are the, these are the ways that we do it. Um, and then the products kind of came to light and I saw the products and I was like, I can do this. Like you said, I, there was a video that said, we get lots of calls for people from Canada. We're not quite there yet. The entrepreneurial side of me kicked in. I picked up the phone and I got to speak right to you because it was in the earlier years. And you kind of sniffed me out. Who's this guy? And then, you know, you kind of said, if you're serious, these are there's a few things that we need to do. I came back quickly and said, okay, I'm done. And you were kind of like, wow, okay, let's let's get this started. Man, the last couple of years, I mean, really, really impressed. You know, you've done a really, really good job. You know, it was a bumpy ride in the beginning for both of us because, sure. you know, let's like go right back to how French Drain Man started. French Drain Man was just a service that I provided in Michigan. We didn't make and manufacture anything. What we did do is we would spend a large sum of money to get manufacturers to make custom runs to our specifications. And people were watching my YouTube videos that I put up for educational purposes. I had no interest in distribution. Distribution was the furthest thing from my mind. I love when people try to accuse me of selling my product. And I crack up and I'm like, all right, this is a new subscriber or somebody who's not subscribed, doesn't know the true story on how you know, really, I was just a guy providing a service in Michigan. I was sharing the information on YouTube so that people could find me locally, help my install service. We're in Macomb Township installing a French drain system. For a yard drainage contractor in Rochester Hills, Michigan, give us a call. People were ringing our office phone off the hook saying, can I have that pipe? Can, is there any way you can ship me that fabric? I mean, you're having these manufacturers make you know, these products to your specifications. We can't get these anywhere. And that's when I realized, all right, we have to put something in place. People really wanted our high octane, extra heavy duty yard drain pipe. There was never a yard drain pipe. 
everybody was just using a road construction pipe or an agricultural pipe, there was not a pipe for yard drains. So it wasn't easy getting our distribution to run as smooth as it is now. When we brought you in, I said, look, I'm trying to figure it out, but we're getting a ton of calls from Canada. You know, we're trying to find somebody that has some room, can store some coils and help the people out in Canada. Because we design and build systems to run here in Michigan, if it's gonna work in Michigan, it's gonna work in Canada. And then, you know, I was getting all kinds of requests from DIYers. They're like, hey, this one fitting that you shipped me, it's not really that easy. And I said, you know what, they're right. But because we're contractors and we have to overcome, we'll be in a muddy trench and if need be, we're gonna get a round peg in a square hole. That's just the mindset of a good contractor, you know, so that you can, you know, get the job done and, and you know, solve the problem. But the DIYers were right. The products that we had, they could be better. And I knew it. And I was, for once in my life, in a position to do something like that. And that I melted down a 401k, all my Roth IRAs, I used to have a paid off house. I did everything right in life. Now I got a mortgage against my house because why? I really believed that we could change an industry. And here we are, the, you know, the proof's in the pudding, as they say. I mean, we just keep coming out with better products year after year now. But because of your patience and your help, it's wonderful that you stuck with us. I'm glad you stuck with us. And I think it's worth mentioning that this used to be a, like a part-time gig for you. Yeah, so my background is in um, fluid power, like hydraulic power and steel. And I needed help in that job. And I needed to pay somebody. And I thought, you know what? If I start this French drain thing, I'm sure I can make some money and use that money to pay the other person. Well, by the time the first six months was over, uh, I was like, like not uh-oh in a bad way, uh-oh in a good way. Well, I've awoken a bear and now I got to figure out a solution for that. So it's weird how these things happen in life where you just... Like what you said, you never wanted, you never thought you'd get into distribution. You were always a knuckles dragging on the ground contractor. That's all my life was. You know, I've had guys start businesses, leaving, leaving careers that they like drainage was never a part of their expertise, but they watched the videos and said, I'm tired of the grind. Quit and started a whole new career and are getting great reward out of doing this kind of work is it hard yeah it's hard but it's also a challenge because no two situations are the same it's not like going and installing a faucet um you know there's some pretty basics to doing something like that but going in and, and trying to figure out a, a solution for a problem i mean i don't know as you get older you you i think you want to challenge yourself i don't know to what degree but Honestly, out of all the services that I've provided, it's the, I would say, the most rewarding service I ever provided, where a lot of the services I provided were thankless, you know, they really were, they were thankless, you know, you'd, you'd work really hard, you know, to, you know, landscape somebody's yard, and all you'd hear about was, hey, on the 90 degree day, the, the, the shrubs were wilting, um, you know, the sun is starting to bleach the bark. Um, it's like, look, nothing lasts forever, especially in landscape, and it's constant maintenance. You really do have to be careful of what you build, and um, yard drainage is different. You come in there, you fix the problem. Each and every rain, your system works. They just constantly will reach out to me and text me and say, I got to thank you again for fixing this water problem. So as a contractor, it's really hard to find that. And I found with the yard drainage, it's a real gratifying service. And you don't have to worry about being labeled a ditch digger because I know that was basically, that's the way I used to look at it when I was younger. When I did design build, if somebody had a drainage problem, I would take care of it as long as I was there building a patio, doing something else for them. But you know, that's when you're young, you kind of, you pump out your chest, right? You're, you're, you're proud. And, and I think there was this uh, stereotype given 
Because at least in my era, when I was growing up, you were told, do good in school or you're going to become a ditch digger, you know? Right. <laughs> Looks like my folks won't have enough money to put me through college. Well, the world needs ditch diggers too. And the people that are laughing are the ditch diggers because they're like, look, you know what? This is a really good livelihood. I love it. There's a lot of job security. And, you know, even in a downed economy, people have to take care of a flooded basement or a flooded crawl space or a flooded, you know, sunroom you know, flooded garage. So it's, you know, a little bit, it's a necessity. It's not an excess. It's a, it's a, anything that you could, you know, be in when it comes to service, that's a necessity. That's key.